Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. It is molded in 135 scale, it copies World War 1 US Army track, it means FWD type B and we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you see in this video review. We are going to open it take a look inside and of course discuss what we have here. So first of all box art is quite nice, overall box size is standard for ICM, here you can see comparison with my hand. Then on this side we have some information about the kit and there are 223 parts as far as you can see, it is a bit difficult to read what is printed there upside down. So that's why I was a bit slow. Here we have also marking guide for the same marking as what we have on the box art, but I guess we have more marking options inside. Box structure is typical for ICM, so I'm going to open it. Just give me a second. As you can see, this is a cover printed thin top lid, and then we have sturdy white cardboard box, which we open and see all the plastic sprues packed into the same plastic bag and then we have also assembly manual on the bottom. Obviously we'll check manual later. I would like to start with plastic first and then we continue with assembly manual. In the meantime let me remind you that we have a special donate button on our website. So if you would like to help us financially uh, you can just click it. It will be done via PayPal, so it's relatively safe and fast. And of course you decide how much you will get for new photo and video equipment or maybe for the new kit to review. I have several kits on my mind, but um, I will be able to check them with your help. There are um, several new releases from Tamiya, new releases from Hasegawa, so you can help us actually to get them and check them closer and maybe even to build them. So here we have first plastic bag with clear plastic frame and only three parts here. These are headlamp lenses, maybe tail light as well, molding quality looks really great, so it's just a matter of careful masking and you'll be good to go. Okay, next we start with grey plastic frames. So, first one, here it is. Just let me position it in the center. We zoom out a bit. Okay, so what do we have here? First of all, wheels. As you can see, they are placed in the center of the frame. These are plastic wheels, which is really great because you won't have to work with vinyl parts. It means also easier painting, easier assembly process. And we can actually zoom in so that you can check those parts closer. So, really beautiful parts and obviously better than typical vinyl elements. Next we also have here engine parts, so this model in 135 scale it will have quite detailed engine out of the box, it means you don't have to resort to resin parts, which is really cool, and again I can show them closer here. Everything will depend on your painting skills obviously. Next here we have the chassis bars, as you can see they are molded as one piece elements and placed from both sides of the sprue, here is the one and here is the second one. Again great molding quality, I do not see any possible molding issues, so there is no flash, no any other possible damage and everything should be relatively easy to assemble together. Next we go on with this plastic sprue, just give me a second, here it is. So this one obviously is more concerned with rear compartment, why? Because here we have the special frames for the tent. We also have radiator parts, we have the fuel tank parts and for those thin parts I would rather think of metal wire replacement, maybe if you plan to build the open version, if you plan to build closed version, then you have to use these plastic parts anyway. And we can zoom in again so that you can see we have here some pre-molded symbols on the radiator grill. And the stained parts, they look also great. It's also nice that we have attachment points inside so that if you plan to build the closed version, you just separate these parts and you don't have to worry about the fitment of these parts in case you cleaned part in the wrong way or maybe somehow damaged it during separation you will be still fine to go. Next we go on with 
this gray plastic frame which carries the tent for the rear section as you can see these are one piece panels which will have to be combined together and of course you will have to work on the seam between these parts because I mean that will actually provide more or less convincing appearance on your model and maybe also I recommend to play with uh, some painting techniques in order to copy the canvas over the cage so here you can see all those parts and even in the plastic they manage somehow to copy it in more or less convincing look so it's just a matter of painting all this stuff and you'll be fine but note that inside we have the push rod marks here you can see them closer I think they won't be visible on the model but just worth noting if you are interested in such stuff okay and last but not the least is this plastic sprue so here we have various uh, suspension parts we also have the drivetrain parts and these are really small even though this is a 135 scale here you can see comparison with my fingertip the sleeve springs are not that big so keep it in mind and also these thin parts are also quite small so you have to use sharp tweezers otherwise it will be a really tricky part to do Next we have assembly manual on the bottom, so just give me a second to remove it out of the box. As usual inside we have the decals sheet, so I will show it in a second. Here it is. Let's zoom in. So printing quality looks really fine. I'm not sure how many marking options are inside, but all those symbols obviously will be used for the marking options included. We will check it in a second, because now we will be taking a look at the assembly manual, which is printed in form of typical ICM brochure, so it means color printed large brochure with short history note in Russian and English. Also here we have technical specifications, safety advices and paints chart in the bottom. Next we go on with parts map. Note that all parts here will be used. It is quite surprising, all parts will be used. So uh, we start assembly with main chassis. As you can see you have to combine all those large parts together. Then you um, connect together several sub-assemblies or several frames together. Next we have the leaf springs. So as you can see why we had a lot of leaf springs because you have to combine two parts together and install them on the chassis. And then here you can see this process. Next we continue with drivetrain. Actually these are wheel axles, not the drivetrain. Here we install various levers, these are road wheels, as you remember they will be built out of plastic parts. Here we assemble the radiator grill. Next goes on the engine assembly process, which is quite interesting. Note how many parts you will have to combine together in order to get the engine ready. So I would recommend to spend some time painting all this stuff because it will be worth it and also thinking how to open it because I suppose there is no such option in this kit. Here we install the exhaust tube, then we continue with various uh, gearbox parts as far as I can understand. Here we also assemble the um, leg rests, actually the steps for the front cab. Next we continue with front cab assembly and it will be quite a tricky thing because here you have to combine a lot of panels together. Now seats. And that's quite funny that whole seat is assembled out of several parts and it should be quite, I would say, convincing sub-assembly. Here we have the fuel tank. Next we continue with headlamp. There are several of them, several uh, special box. Here we assemble the rear section and as you can see again you have to combine separate panels together and here also some boxes installed from the bottom. Then we um, have the first assembly variant when you open the uh, rear section and build it without tent or tarp and here you build it also with tarp as you can see it will have to be assembled out of several parts and note that you are not using here these special frames so you are basically combining these panels together and you are good to go and 
then on the last page we have two Moroccan options. So first one comes from 1917 USA and here we have France 1918. So only two Moroccan options. If you would like to have more I would recommend to search for some reference photos. So as I said before this kit should be already available on Modelimax website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.